it's useful in the sense that it gets us to question uh, the way we're perceiving life, ourself. It's a, it's, it's a way of saying there may be a totally different way to perceive yourself, to perceive existence, to perceive God than you currently have. So the concept is that which sort of comes in, do you know? Enlightenment, awakening, these things, these, these concepts come in and they, they're, they're suggestive. They're suggestive of there's a different way to see things in the way you currently see them. In that sense, they're very useful because sometimes that's the first thing that gets people to go, hey, I never even imagined that where there was a different way to look at myself or life until I heard about it. Do you know? So, of course, they're also dangerous because then they get you, then they get the mind to think in terms of, you know, okay, enlightenment is something I want to attain, and there's enlightened beings and unenlightened beings, and the mind creates this whole divisive sort of spiritual world out of those ideas. That, that part is, that's counterproductive, do you know? My teacher said many, many years ago when I was with her, she said, look, everybody has their dance to dance. And the whole idea is you've got to dance your dance all the way out. If it's to do nothing and just stop and stop seeking, fine, then that's what you do. If it's, if it's to seek and question and really go at it with everything you've got, then that's your dance. And the only way that you, she had another statement, she said, only the phonies don't end up enlightened which is quite a cutting statement, isn't it? Only the phonies, which really means if you're not authentic to what's happening for you, if you're not inhabiting your own life, then you probably very well might remain spiritually asleep. But if you can stay really authentic to yourself, great. If you can maintain that authenticity, that... Um, be, be true to, to what's arising in your own life, in your own experiences. Then you really, you can't help but to, at some point, open your eyes, spiritually awaken. But that's something that spiritual seekers, unfortunately, with all the teachings that, that go out there, is we, you know, they hear the teaching and the teaching often makes them become less sensitive to what's actually happening. And they're trying to make themselves conform to the teaching, right? So they're, they're actually seeking, but now they're trying not to seek because a, a teaching said don't seek. But actually, no matter how much you try to seek, not seek, if you're trying not to seek, you're still seeking. You see what I mean? So. And, there, and so in, if that happens, you're not being true to yourself, are you? You're not being authentic. You're trying to, you're trying to do something that's not really authentically yours. So I think that's really, really important to people, is like to be connected with... I always ask people, the first thing I often ask them is I say, look, what are you doing here? You know, some people start to ask me a question, I'll throw out like, for like enlightenment and awakening and non-dual this and non-dual that, and they'll throw out all these things in their question. And I'll say, wait, 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 wait. What's this about for you? Why are you here? What's spirituality about for you? Not what someone said it was about or promised you you get out of it, but what's it really about for you? Why is this quest happening for you? And I'll tell you, when I ask people that, 90% of them, they don't know. They, they kind of go, gosh. It takes them up short for a moment. And then I say, that's it. That's your, that's, that's your inquiry for now. To reconnect with what is this all about for you. Don't let somebody define it for you. Don't let me define it for you. You see what I mean? Because when it's authentic, then all of your resources, all, they naturally kind of come together and they naturally start to align. But if it's not really authentically yours, you find that the mind and your emotions and your, your agendas are, are often competing inside. You know?
And that's a, that's a spiritual quest in and of itself. W what is it I'm doing here? What, what is this about for me? So it's sort of, um, uh, it's, uh, when I ask that to people, it often makes them a little disoriented because they're like, I never thought about it. I, want, I, I just heard about, you know, and I just want to be enlightened. Why? Do you see? What does that mean for you? What does that word mean? I want to awaken. What does that mean for you? What do you really, you see what I want? What do you really want? Otherwise, we're just chasing what we've, someone's told us. And then you've left home. You've left home. <laughs>